Although plants were used as medicines in the past, has their use decreased in modern times? Approximately 25% of all prescription drugs currently used in the Western world contain ingredients derived from plants. The United States National Cancer Institute has identified three zero 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 plants from which anti-cancer drugs can be or are made. Among this group are ginseng, Panax quinquefolius, Asian mayapple, Potophyllum hexandrum, Western U, Taxus brevifolia, and Rosy periwinkle. Of the 3,000 plants used for anti cancer drugs, 70% come from rainforests, which are also a source of plants used to treat countless other diseases and infections. However, 80% of the world's population does not use prescription drugs. Rather, this group relies almost exclusively on herbal medicines. Therefore, the medicinal use of plants has not decreased. What is biotechnology? Biotechnology is the use of a living organism to produce a specific product. It includes any technology associated with the manipulation of living systems for industrial purposes. In its broadest sense, biotechnology includes the fields of chemical, pharmaceutical, and environmental technology as well as engineering and agriculture. How has flight contributed to the success of insects? Flight is one key to the great success of insects. An animal that can fly can escape many predators, find food, and mates. And disperse to new habitats much faster than an animal that must crawl about on the ground. How do muscle cells use calcium? Calcium ions are stored inside muscle cells. The calcium ions are released when a muscle cell gets a signal to induce contraction, which initiates the movement of the contractile proteins within muscles. When calcium concentrations fall, muscle contractions stop. What is the purpose of rhizoids? Rhizoids are a characteristic feature of mosses, liverworts, and hornworts. Rhizoids are slender, usually colorless projections that consist of a single cell or a few cells. They serve to anchor mosses, liverworts, and hornworts to their substrate and absorb water. Can animals commit suicide? There is no evidence of animals committing suicide. 
In strict Darwinian terms this would be of no advantage to an individual's fitness. Who was Darwin's bulldog? Thomas Huxley, 1825-1895, was a staunch supporter of Darwin's work, in fact. Huxley wrote a favorable review of Darwin's On the Origin of Species that appeared soon after its publication. When the firestorm of controversy began after the appearance of Darwin's book, Huxley was ready and able to defend Darwin. Whose chronic public reticence about his theories was at that time exacerbated by illness. Huxley's defense of Darwin was so vigorous during a debate with Bishop Samuel Wilberforce, 1805 to 1873. At the British Association for the Advancement of Science in 1860, that he earned the title Darwin's Bulldog. What is the cytosol? The cytosol is the semi-fluid substance of the cell in which the organelles are suspended. What fungus is associated with chemical warfare? Fusarium, a genus that is included in the group considered imperfect fungi, produces trichothesins, which are highly toxic substances that have been tested as agents of chemical warfare. Trichothesins are very hardy compounds that can survive autoclaving and do not degrade when exposed to light. They are relatively easy to produce and have been prepared as biological weapons. The toxin causes the chronic disease alimentary toxicolochia, ATA. Our malaria mushrooms have been shown to reduce hypertension. What are other examples of lichens assessing pollution? Lichens are used to assess radioactive pollution levels in the vicinity of uranium mines. Environments where nuclear-powered satellites have crashed. Former nuclear bomb testing sites, and power stations that have incurred accidents. Following the Chernobyl nuclear power station disaster in 1986, Arctic lichens as far away as Lapland were tested and showed levels of radioactive dust that were as much as 165 times higher than had been previously recorded. Who invented the electron microscope? The theoretical and practical limits to the use of the optical microscope were set by the wavelength of light. When the oscilloscope was developed, it was realized that cathode ray beams could be used to resolve much finer detail because their wavelength was so much shorter than that of light. In 1928 Ernst Ruska, 1906-1988, and Max Knoll, 1897-1969, to 
using magnetic fields to focus electrons in a cathode ray beam. Produced a crude instrument that gave a magnification of 17, and by 1932 they had developed an electron microscope having a magnification of 400. By 1937 James Hillier, 1915 had advanced this magnification to 7000. The 1939 instrument Vladimir Zwerikin 1889-1982, developed gave 50 times more detail than any optical microscope ever could, with a magnification up to 2 million. The electron microscope revolutionized biological research. For the first time scientists could see the molecules of cell structures, proteins, and viruses. How large is the arthropod population? Zoologists estimate that the arthropod population of the world including crustaceans, spiders, and insects, numbers about a billion million, 1,018, individuals. More than one million arthropod species have been described. With insects making up the vast majority of them. In fact, Two out of every three organisms known on Earth are arthropods. And the phylum is represented in nearly all habitats of the biosphere. About 90% of all arthropods are insects, and about half of the named species of insects are beetles. How many eggs are produced by sea urchins? The number of eggs produced by sea urchins is enormous. It has been estimated that a female of the genus Arbacea contains about 8 million eggs. In the much larger genus Echinus the number reaches 20 million. What are the main characteristics of animals? Animals are a very diverse groups of organisms, but all of them share a number of characteristics. Animals are multicellular eukaryotes that are heterotrophic, ingesting and digesting food inside the body. Animal cells lack the cell walls that provide support in the bodies of plants and fungi. Most animals have muscle systems and nervous systems responsible for movement and rapid response to stimuli in their environment. In addition, most animals reproduce sexually with the diploid stage dominating the life cycle. In most species a large, nonmodal egg is fertilized by a small, flagellated sperm, thus forming a diploid zygote. The transformation of a zygote to an animal of specific form depends on the controlled expression in the developing embryo of special regulatory genes. What is a petri dish, and who developed it? A petri dish is a shallow dish consisting of two round, overlapping halves. The petri dish is used to grow bacteria and other 
microorganisms on a solid culture medium, usually nutrient agar. The top of the dish is larger than the bottom so that when the dish is closed, a strong seal is created, preventing contamination of the culture. This device was developed in 1887 by Julius Richard Petrie, 1852-1921. A member of Robert Cox Laboratory. Petri dishes are very easy to use, can be stacked on each other to save space. And are one of the most common items in a microbiology laboratory. Why are some species more commonly used for genetic studies than others? Species with a relatively small genome, with a short generation time from seed to seed. And that are adaptable to living in captivity are appealing as experimental organisms. Even though many. Of these species bear little physical resemblance to humans. They do share part of our genome and so can answer some of the questions we have about genetic inheritance and gene expression. What are the functions of the excretory system? The excretory system is responsible for removing waste products. It also plays a vital role in regulating the water and salt balance in the organism. Who invented the thermometer? The Greeks of Alexandria knew that air expanded as it was heated. Hero of Alexandria, 1st century CE, and Philo of Byzantium. Fluid CA 250 BCE, made simple thermoscopes, but they were not real thermometers. In 1592 Galileo, 1564-1642, made a kind of thermometer that also functioned as a barometer. And in 1612 his friend Santorio Santorio, 1561-1636, adapted the air thermometer, a device in which a colored liquid was driven down by the expansion of air, to measure the body's temperature change during illness and recovery. Still, it was not until 1713 that Daniel Fahrenheit 1686-1736 began developing a thermometer with a fixed scale. He worked out his scale from two fixed points. The melting point of ice and the heat of the healthy human body. He realized that the melting point of ice was a constant temperature whereas the freezing point of water varied. Fahrenheit put his thermometer into a mixture of ice, water, and salt, which he marked off at zero degrees. And, using this as a starting point, marked off melting ice at 32 degrees and blood heat at 96 degrees. In 1835 it was discovered that normal blood measured 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Sometimes Fahrenheit used spirit of wine as the liquid in the thermometer tube. But more often he used specially purified mercury. Later, the boiling point of water, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, became the upper fixed point of the thermometer.
What do truffles look like? Truffles have a rather unappealing appearance. They are somewhat round, but irregularly shaped. And have thick, rough, wrinkled skin that varies from off-white to almost black in color. The fruiting bodies present on truffles are fragrant, fleshy structures that usually grow to about the size of a golf ball. They range from white, gray, or brown to nearly black in color. There are nearly 70 known varieties of truffles, but the most desirable is the black truffle also. Known as black diamond that grows in France's Perigord and Corsi regions as well as Italy's Umbria region. The flesh of the black diamond appears to be black. But it is actually dark brown, and contains white striations. The flesh has an aroma that is extremely pungent. The second most popular is the white truffle, actually off-white or beige, of Italy's Piedmont region. Both the aroma and flavor of this truffle are earthy and garlicky. Fresh truffles are available from late fall to midwinter. And can be stored in the refrigerator for up to three days. Why are leeches important in the field of medicine? The medical leech, Hirudo medicinalis, is used to remove blood that has accumulated within tissues as a result of injury or disease. Leeches have also been applied to fingers or toes that have been surgically reattached to the body. The sucking by the leech unclogs small blood vessels. Permitting blood to flow normally again through the body part. The leech releases hirudin, secreted by the salivary glands. Which is an anticoagulant that prevents blood from clotting and dissolves pre existing clots. Other salivary ingredients dilate blood vessels and act as an anesthetic. A medicinal leech can absorb as much as 5 to 10 times its body weight in blood. Complete digestion of this blood takes a long time. And these leeches feed only once or twice a year in this manner. What is high pressure liquid chromatography? High pressure liquid chromatography, HPLC was developed in the mid-1970s. It differs from other chromatographic techniques in that the liquid is pumped through a short packed column under pressure, instead of relying only on gravity. What is the ELISA test? ELISA stands for Enzyme-Linked Immunoservantase. It is a test used to determine if an individual has generated antibodies for a certain pathogen. In the test, inactivated antigens, for the pathogen, are coated onto a plate. In addition to antibodies from the patient serum, there is a second anti-human antibody linked to an enzyme. If the patient's antibodies bind to both the second antibody and the antigen, a color change occurs.
Why do termites march around a ring made of ink? Termite soldiers and workers are blind and so use pheromones to navigate. Two chemical compounds have already been identified as termite pheromones. It seems likely that the chemical formulation of certain inks contains compounds that mimic these naturally produced signals. What is the light source for a spectrophotometer? Most commonly, a spectrophotometer uses white light as its light source. White light is a combination of all visible wavelengths. Ultraviolet and infrared wavelengths may also be used. How does an animal's niche affect its behavior? A niche can be defined as the natural history of a species, where it lives, what it eats, and so forth. Those constraints in turn have an effect on behavior. For example, lizard species found in deserts from different parts of the world use. A very similar behavior to harvest water from the moist air in the early morning. They use the bumps or ridges on their heads as condensing spots and then orient their bodies so that the water rolls toward the snout, where it can be licked off by the tongue. What is a race? The term race was originally used to describe subspecies. However, as genetic analysis of humans has shown, there is greater genetic variation within geographic subpopulations. Races, than among the human population as a whole. In other words, there is so much genetic overlap between groups formerly designated as races that the term is meaningless and biologically indefensible. What is the most specialized cell in mammals? depending on the criteria you choose. Several types of cells could be nominated as the most specialized cell in the mammalian body. The two top candidates for this honor would probably be, 1, the cells that produce gametes, sperm and eggs, 2, the red blood cells that carry oxygen and carbon dioxide in the blood. Red blood cells are perhaps the most highly specialized. They only live for roughly 120 days. But during that time they may travel more than 500 miles 800 kilometers through various organs and blood vessels. Red blood cells lack a nucleus, so they are unable to reproduce, new cells are formed in bone marrow. What are gymnosperms and which plants are included in this group?
gymnosperms, from the Greek terms gymnos, which means naked, and sperma, meaning seed. Produce seeds that are totally exposed or born on the scales of cones. The four phyla of gymnosperms are, coniferophyta, conifers including pine, spruce, hemlock and fir. Ginkophyta, consisting of one species, the ginkgo, or maidenhair tree, cycladophyta. The cycads or ornamental plants, and nidophyta, a collection of very unusual vines and trees. Who is known as the founder of botany? The ancient Greek scientist Theophrastus, ca. 372 ca. 287 BCE, is known as the father of botany. His two works on botany. On the history of plants and on the causes of plants, were so comprehensive that one. 800 years passed before any new significant botanical information that had not been covered by Theophrastus was discovered. He integrated the practice of agriculture into botany and established theories regarding plant growth and the analysis of plant structure. He related plants to their natural environment and identified classified, and described 550 different plants. What does it mean to be the alpha male? In animal groups with multiple individuals. Those at the top of the dominance hierarchy are designated as the alpha male, and alpha female. Those next in line would be the beta individuals, using the nomenclature of the Greek alphabet. Alpha individuals control the behavior of the other animals. And may be the only individuals that mate within the group. They may also be the decision makers. As in determining which direction the group travels, where the group sleeps, and so forth. What is a seed? A seed is a mature, fertilized ovule. It consists of the seed embryo and the nutrient-rich tissue called the endosperm. The embryo consists of a miniature root and shoot. Once the seed is protected and enclosed in a seed coat, it ceases further development and becomes dormant. What important organelle is found in the mesophyll layer of the leaf? The mesophyll, from the Greek terms mesos, meaning middle, and phylum, meaning leaf. Of a leaf consists of masses of parenchyma cells that are packed with chloroplasts important for photosynthesis. The palisade parenchyma comprises columnar layers of parenchyma cells found beneath the epidermis of many leaves. The spongy parenchyma is a mass of cells that are irregular in shape and often highly branched. There are large intercellular spaces in the spongy parenchyma that 
function in gas exchange and the passage of water vapor from the leaves. These spaces are connected to the stomata. What was the first virus to be isolated in a laboratory? In 1935 Wendell Stanley, 1904-1971, of the Rockefeller Institute. Known today as Rockefeller University, prepared an extract of the tobacco mosaic virus and purified it. The purified virus precipitated in the form of crystals. During this investigation Stanley was able to demonstrate that viruses can be regarded as chemical matter rather than as living organisms. The purified crystals retain the ability to infect healthy tobacco plants, thus characterizing them as viruses, not merely chemical compounds derived from a virus. Subsequent studies showed that the tobacco mosaic virus consisted of a protein and a nucleic acid. Further studies showed that this virus consisted of RNA, ribonucleic acid, surrounded by a protein coat. Stanley was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1946 for his discovery. What are nonspecific defenses? Nonspecific defenses do not differentiate between various invaders. Barriers such as skin, hide, and the mucous membrane lining the respiratory and digestive tracts. Phagocytic white blood cells, and chemicals are nonspecific defenses. The nonspecific defenses are the first to respond to a foreign substance in the body. Why do fishes travel in schools? About 80% of the approximately 20,000 fish species travel in schools. Fishes travel in schools for both protection and for efficiency. Safety in numbers, in a school, is a form of predator avoidance. Because trying to catch one fish in a large, moving school can be a difficult for a predator. Secondly, fishes that travel in schools have less drag, friction, and therefore use less energy for swimming. Also, when fishes spawn, a school ensures that some eggs will evade predators and live to form another school. What is the function of bark? Bark protects the interior tissues of a tree from external physical threats such as rain, hail and snow and biological threats such as animals, fungi, and bacteria. Bark also serves as a dumping ground in which the tree rids itself of waste products from its metabolism. Nutrients are transported through the phloem of the bark from the roots to the crown of the tree. What is a bacteriophage?
A bacteriophage, also called a phage, is a virus that infects bacteria. The term bacteriophage means bacteria eater, from the Greek word phagein, which means to devour. Phages consist of a long nucleic acid molecule, usually DNA. Coiled within a polyhedral shaped protein head. Many phages have a tail attached to the head. Fibers extending from the tail may be used to attach the virus to the bacterium. What are X-rays? X-rays are electromagnetic radiation with short wavelengths, 10 to 3, and a great amount of energy. They were discovered in 1898 by William Conrad Rentgen, 1845 to 1923. X-rays are frequently used in medicine because they are able to pass through opaque. Dense structures such as bone and form an image on a photographic plate. What important fibers are obtained from the sclerenchyma of plants? Many different types of commonly used fibers are obtained the sclerenchyma of plants. Which mammals lay eggs and suckle their young? The duck-billed platypus, Ornithorhynchus anatinus, the short-nosed echidna or spiny anteater. Tachyglossus aculeatus, and the long-nosed echidna, Zaglossus bruigeni, indigenous to Australia. Tasmania, and New Guinea, respectively are the only three species of mammals that lay eggs. A non-mammalian feature, but suckle their young, a mammalian feature. These mammals, order Monotremata, resemble reptiles in that they lay rubbery. Shell-covered eggs that are incubated and hatched outside the mother's body. In addition, they resemble reptiles in their digestive, reproductive, and excretory systems and in a number of anatomical details, eye structure. Presence of certain skull bones, pectoral shoulder girdle and rib and vertebral structures. They are, however, classed as mammals because they have fur and a four-chambered heart. Nurse their young from gland milk, are warm-blooded, and have some mammalian skeletal features. What is a trinucleotide repeat? Dispersed throughout the human genome are sequences of repetitive DNA. These repeats will have one to six nucleotides, base pairs. One type in particular, involving three repeating nucleotide pairs, is called a trinucleotide repeat. As DNA is copied and then transferred to a new generation, the number of repeated sets can increase and cause diseases. Do red blood cells function the same way in humans and insects?
Insects don't have blood like ours, instead, their bodies contain a fluid known as hemolymph. Their hemoglobin is not concentrated in cells within the hemolymph, but rather is found floating in the hemolymph. An insect's hemoglobin still carries oxygen, but it is somewhat smaller than that found in mammals like humans. Squids, octopi, and crustaceans also have oxygen carrying molecules in their plasma. But their bodies use a copper based molecule known as hemocyanin to carry oxygen instead. What is a biological clock? A biological clock controls a biological rhythm. It involves an internal pacemaker with external, usually environmental, cues. An environmental signal that cues the clock for animals is called an Zeitgeber. A German term meaning time giver. Examples of Zeitgebers include light and dark cycles. High and low tides, temperature, and food availability. What is the name of the seal-like animal in Florida? The West Indian manatee, Trechus manatus, in the winter, moves to more temperate parts of Florida, such as the warm headwaters of the Crystal and Homosassa. 271 rivers in central Florida or the tropical waters of southern Florida. When the air temperature rises to 50 degrees Fahrenheit 10 degrees Celsius. It will wander back along the Gulf Coast and up the Atlantic Coast as far as Virginia. Long-range offshore migrations to the coast of Guiana and South America have been documented. In 1983, when the population of manatees in Florida was reduced to several thousand, the state gave it legal protection from being hunted or commercially exploited. However, many animals continue to be killed or injured by the encroachment of humans. Entrapment in locks and dams, collisions with barges and power boat propellers and so on cause at least 30% of manatee deaths, which total 125 to 130 annually. What is the function of each of the different tissue systems? The vascular tissue system consists of two kinds of conducting tissue, the xylem and the phloem. The xylem conducts water and dissolved minerals. The phloem conducts carbohydrates, mainly sucrose, hormones, amino acids, and other substances for the plant's growth and nutrition. The ground tissue system consists of three cell types parenchyma, calenchyma, and sclerenchyma that have relatively thin walls and living protoplasts for storage, photosynthesis, and secretion. The dermal tissue system is the outer protective covering of the plant including the cuticle. How much electricity does an electric eel generate?
an electric eel, Electrophorus electricus, has current producing organs made up of electric plates. Modified muscle cells, on both sides of its vertebral column running almost its entire body length. The charge on the average of 350 volts. But as great as 550 volts is released by the central nervous system. The shock consists of four to eight separate charges, each of which lasts only two to three thousandths of a second. These shocks, used as a defense mechanism, can be repeated up to 150 times per hour without any visible fatigue to the eel. The most powerful electric eel, found in the rivers of Brazil. Colombia, Venezuela, and Peru, produces a shock of 400 to 650 volts. Can cells conduct electricity? Yes. All living cells have membranes that allow them to maintain a difference in concentration of atoms located on the inside and outside of the cell. Some of these atoms are ions that have a charge. This ability to maintain an imbalance of ions is called cell membrane. Potential and is analogous to the electrical potential of a battery. What is a vector? A vector is an agent used to carry genes into another organism. Specific examples of natural vectors include plasmids or viruses. In human gene therapy, Vector viruses must be able to withstand the challenge of the patient's immune system. Once the vector manages to invade the immune system, it must be able to penetrate the cell membrane and finally, must be able to combine its genome into that of the host cell. Vectors are also crucial to plant and animal genetic engineering. What is the relationship between telomeres and aging? In many cells there appears to be an optimal number of repeats at the telomeres. Normal telomere length is restored by the enzyme telomerase. Studies have shown that when the telomerase gene is silenced, there is progressive shortening of telomeres as cells divide. Germline and some stem cells express the telomerase gene. But somatic cells do not express the gene and therefore show telomere shortening with each cell division. Thus, it may be possible to slow body aging by slowing cellular senescence. This can be achieved by maintaining the activity of the telomerase gene. How many types of muscle tissue are found in vertebrates, and what is the function of muscle tissue? Vertebrates have three types of muscle tissue, one, smooth, two, skeletal, and three, cardiac muscle. 
muscle tissue, consisting of bundles of long cells called muscle fibers. Provides the capability of movement for the organism or for the movement of substances within the body of the organism. How did Louis Pasteur's theory of fermentation differ from the accepted concept of fermentation? Louis Pasteur, 1822-1895 Proposed that fermentation is a process carried out by what he referred to as living ferments. The other renowned chemists of the time believed that fermentation was a purely chemical process in which microorganisms were a byproduct, not the cause. What is a survivorship curve? A survivorship curve can indicate how long individuals survive in a population. There are three distinct types of curves. In a type I curve, the young have a high survival rate and typically live a long life. An example of this curve can be seen in the doll sheep that live in MT. Denali National Park in Alaska. Humans are also an example of a type I curve. In a type II curve, individuals have a relatively constant death rate throughout their lifespan. An example of this curve can be found in populations of American robins. A type III curve includes those species that have a large number of young most of which die at a high rate. At an early age but have a lower death rate at later ages. An example of this survivorship curve can be found in lobsters and crabs. What is Franken food? Franken food is a term invented by environmental and health activist groups to denote any food that has been genetically modified. GM, or that contains genetically modified organisms, GMO. Opposition to GM food is based on concerns that the gene pool of natural plants could be altered permanently if exposed to pollen from genetically altered plants. There is also fear that people and animals that consume GM food might have allergic reactions to altered protein or could develop health problems later. Which woods are used for telephone poles? The principal woods used for telephone poles are southern pine. Douglas fir, western red cedar, and lodgepole pine. Ponderosa pine, red pine, jack pine, Northern white cedar, and western larch are also used. How do air-breathing mammals such as whales and seals dive underwater for extended periods of time? Seals and whales are able to dive underwater for extended periods of time because they are able to store oxygen. 
while humans store 36% of their oxygen in their lungs and 51% in the blood. Seals store only approximately 5% of their oxygen in their lungs and 70% in their blood. They also store more oxygen in the muscle tissue 25%. Compared with only 13% in human muscle tissue. While underwater, these mammals' heart rates and oxygen consumption rates decrease. Allowing some species to remain underwater for up to 20 minutes at a time. How do dissecting microscopes differ from compound microscopes? Compared to compound microscopes, dissecting microscopes also called stereoscopic microscopes provide a much larger working distance between the lens and stage in order to dissect and manipulate specimens. The light source on a dissecting microscope is above the specimen since the specimen is often too thick to allow light to be transmitted from a light source below the specimen. Dissecting microscopes are always binocular, which provides a three-dimensional image. How does the number of stomata on the epidermis of leaves compare among various species? There is great variation among species in the number of stomata on the upper and lower epidermis of leaves. Horizontally oriented leaves usually have more stomata on the protected lower side of the epidermis than on the exposed upper side. Conversely, in vertically oriented leaves there are usually similar numbers of stomata on the lower and upper sides of the epidermis. The following chart shows average number of stomata per square centimeter for several different species. Why do you need protein in your diet? Of the 20 amino acids used by humans as building blocks for proteins, 8 are essential. In other words, our bodies cannot synthesize them, nor can we survive without them. Luckily, all of the essential amino acids can be acquired by eating animal meat. Complete proteins, and slash or certain plant sources, complementary proteins. By combining grains, such as rice, and legumes, such as beans and peas. One is able to consume adequate daily amounts of protein. The recommended daily allowance, RDA, of protein for healthy adults is 0.4 g slash LB, 0.8 g slash kg, of body weight. Can I see a gene? No. A gene cannot be seen because it is submicroscopic. We can see a chromosome, which contains genes. And geneticists can pinpoint the location of a gene on that chromosome, but the actual gene cannot be seen. What is an organ?
An organ is a group of several different tissues working together as a unit to perform a specific function or functions. Each organ performs functions that none of the component tissues can perform alone. This cooperative interaction of different tissues is a basic feature of animals. The heart is an example of an organ. It consists of cardiac muscle wrapped in connective tissue. The heart chambers are lined with epithelium. Nerve tissue controls the rhythmic contractions of the cardiac muscles. How fast does a hummingbird's wing move? Hummingbirds are the only family of birds that can truly hover in still air for any length of time. They need to do so in order to hang in front of a flower while they perform the delicate task of inserting their slim sharp bills into the flower's depths to drink nectar. Their thin wings are not contoured into the shape of aerofoils and do not generate lift in this way. Their paddle-shaped wings are, in effect, hands that swivel at the shoulder. They beat them in such a way that the tip of each wing follows the line of a figure eight lying on its side. The wing moves forward and downward into the front loop of the eight, creating lift. As it begins to come up and goes back, the wing twists through 180 degrees so that once again it creates a downward thrust. The hummingbird's method of flying does have a major limitation. The smaller a wing, the faster it has to beat in order to produce sufficient downward thrust. An average sized hummingbird beats its wings 25 times a second. The bee hummingbird, native to Cuba, is only 2 in, 5 centimeters. Long and beats its wings at an astonishing 200 times a second. What is the difference between active dry yeast and compressed fresh yeast? Both active dry yeast and compressed fresh yeast are leavening agents. Active dry yeast comprises tiny, dehydrated granules of yeast. Although the granules are alive, the yeast cells are dormant due to their lack of moisture. Because the cells are dormant, dry yeast has a long shelf life. Active dry yeast becomes active when mixed with warm liquid. Compressed fresh yeast is moist and extremely perishable. It must be stored under refrigeration and used within one to two weeks. Which first aid measures can be used for a bite by a black widow spider? The black widow spider, Latrodectus mactans, is common throughout the United States. Its bite is severely poisonous, but no first aid measures are of value. Age, body size, and degree of sensitivity determine the severity of symptoms. Which include an initial pinprick with a dull numbing pain, followed by swelling. An ice cube may be placed 252 over the bite to relieve pain. 
between 10 and 40 minutes after the bite. Severe abdominal pain and rigidity of stomach muscles develop. Muscle spasms in the extremities, ascending paralysis. And difficulty in swallowing and breathing may follow. The mortality rate is less than 1%, but anyone who has been bitten should see a doctor. The elderly, infants, and those with allergies are most at risk and may require hospitalization. What is a microarray? A microarray is a technique in which PCR amplified DNA fragments are placed on a thin glass or silicon plate by cross linking the DNA to the glass or silicon. Fluorescent dye labeled mRNA or complementary DNA is then hybridized to the sample. When hybridization occurs, a specific fluorescent color is produced. For example, if two samples, one labeled with a red dye and one with a green dye, are both hybridized to the same DNA sequence on the microarray, a yellow color is produced. The amount of color produced also allows scientists to detect the level of gene expression. Mitosis, a fundamental process in cloning and cell regeneration. Involves cell nucleus division in which each chromosome splits into two, such that both daughter cells have identical chromosomal makeup. Can animals use tools? A tool can be defined as any object used by an animal to perform a specific task. Chimpanzees carefully select twigs that they then prepare as probes to fish out termites from mounds. Sea otters use rocks to crack open clam shells. Birds will drop clams onto rocks to crack their shells. Japanese macaques use the sea to wash sand off food items. How do muscle cells work? Muscle cells whether the skeletal muscles in the arms or legs, the smooth muscles that line the digestive tract and other organs. Or the cardiac muscle cells in the heart work by contracting. Skeletal muscle cells are comprised of thousands of contracting units known as sarcomeres. The proteins actin, thin filament, and myosin, thick filament, are the major components of the sarcomere. These units perform work by moving structures closer together through space. Sarcomeres in the skeletal muscles pull parts of the body through space relative to each other. Example walking or swinging your arms. To visualize how a sarcomere works. Interlace the fingers of your two hands with the palms facing toward you, represents actin, myosin. Push the fingers together so that the overall length from one thumb to the other is decreased, sarcomere length decreases. How are fungi related to soy sauce?
Aspergillus tamari and other deuteromycetes are used to produce soy sauce by slowly fermenting boiled soybeans. Soy sauce provides foods with more than its special flavor. The soybeans and fungi give soy sauce amino acids that are vital to human life. Fungi have been used in many cultures to improve the nutrient quality of the diet. Why are people from certain geographic areas more likely to have different genetic traits? Human activities can influence the distribution of alleles. Some examples include social constraints that limit choice of a mate to language, religion, and economic status, the tendency of some isolated populations, such as native island peoples, to stay isolated, and worldwide movement of populations due to technological advances. Studies have been done on the distribution of the B allele of the ABO red blood cell system. Initially, the highest occurrence of the B allele was in the indigenous populations of Central Asia. However, as people migrated from Asia into Europe, the frequency of the B allele changed. Such that the highest frequency is now in Eastern Europe and lowest in Southwestern Europe. Who was the first to use the word prion? In a paper Stanley Prusiner, 1942, wrote in 1982, he used the term prion in place of the expression protonaceous infectious particle when describing an infectious agent. Prusiner was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1997. How is RNA made from DNA? In eukaryotes, First the DNA of the specific gene unwinds. Then enzymes, known as RNA polymerases, use the DNA sequence, the pairing rules, UA, GC, CG, AT, and available RNA nucleotides to efficiently copy the DNA sequence into RNA. What are the four major groups of plants? Plants are divided into phyla based on whether they are vascular. Containing vascular tissue consisting of cells joined into tubes that transport water and nutrients, or non-vascular. The phyla of vascular plants are then further divided into seedless plants and those that contain seeds. Plants with seeds are divided into flowering and non-flowering groups. Non-vascular plants have traditionally been called bryophytes. Because bryophytes lack a system for conducting water and nutrients. They are restricted in size and live in moist areas close to the ground. Examples of bryophytes are mosses, liverworts, and hornworts. Examples of seedless, vascular plants are ferns, horsetails, and club mosses. The conifers, which are cone-bearing, are seed-bearing, 
non-flowering vascular plants. The majority of plants are seed-bearing, flowering, vascular plants known as angiosperms. What are giant tube worms? These worms were discovered near the hydrothermal, hot water. Ocean vents in 1977 when the submersible Alvin was exploring the ocean floor of the Galapagos Ridge. Located 1.5 miles 2.4 kilometers below the Pacific Ocean surface and 200 miles 322 kilometers from the Galapagos Islands. Growing to lengths of 5 feet 1.5 meters, Riptia pacoptila jones. Named after worm expert Meredith Jones of the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History. Lack both mouth and gut and are topped with feathery plumes composed of over 200,000 tiny tentacles. The phenomenal growth of these worms is due to their internal food source symbiotic bacteria. Over 100 billion per ounce of tissue, that live within the worm's troposome tissues. To these troposome tissues, the tube worms transport absorbed oxygen from the water. Together with carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. Utilizing this supply. The bacteria in turn produce carbohydrates and proteins that the worms need to thrive. When were cells first studied? The scientific study of cells developed gradually from the first description of cells in the 17th century. During this early period, investigations of cells were done using the primitive light microscopes available at the time and consisted almost entirely of morphological descriptions of cell structure. In the 18th and 19th centuries research expanded to include the study of cell chemistry and physiology. Efforts that proceeded independently from morphological studies. The study of cell structure, cell chemistry, and cell physiology continued as separate fields of experimentation until the beginning of the 20th century. When the rapidly developing field of biochemistry began to influence cell biology. At the same time, Genetics became established as a field of investigation. What are plasmidesmata? Plasmidesmata are present in plant cells. They are channels or canals that occur in the cell wall. Connecting the cytoplasms of adjacent cells. They allow molecules direct communication through adjacent cells. Plant cells are united into functioning tissues by plasmidesmata. Can mushrooms grow up overnight? A mushroom is only the fruiting body that is, reproductive structure of a much larger fungus body that grows unseen in rotting logs, rich humus, and dark, damp places. 
Many familiar mushrooms have fruiting bodies that are fleshy and umbrella shaped. Warm, damp weather triggers their sudden appearance. Usually first to be noticed are small, round button caps composed of densely packed hyphae. Soon after the outer covering ruptures, the stem elongates, and the cap enlarges to its full size. This entire process can indeed happen overnight. How did cells evolve? The central criteria for living cells are a membrane capable of separating the inside of the cell from its surroundings, genetic material capable of being reproduced, and the ability to acquire and use energy, metabolism. The Miller-Urey experiment demonstrated that organic molecules, including genetic material, could arise abiotically. Phospholipids, the molecules that comprise all cellular membranes, can spontaneously form spheres when exposed to water. Although no one knows exactly how living cells evolved, these data demonstrate how a part of the scenario may have unfolded. <laughs>